we have got a genuine 1970 Camaro Z28. This thing's been body off frame, rotisserie restored, literally taken to a bare shell. There was nothing left of it. Put on a rotisserie, flipped over, and uh, restored. We've got documentation, including receipts and photos. I'm going to set this down. You can go to volocars.com and look at about 100 photos of this car, top to bottom. You can read all the information, and that's where you'll find the price tag along with a monthly finance option. That's at volocars.com. If you enjoy these videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel, click the bell icon, and you'll be notified when a new video is posted. For right now, join me. Let's go for a spin. Yeah, so picture a bare shell flipped on a rotisserie. So they were able to restore the whole bottom of the car, make it all nice. They used epoxy primer, and then they sprayed it with an Imron, which is a really durable paint. And it's the red oxide color uh, like they would have left the factory with. So every component was removed. So when they put it back together, it was with all new and rebuilt parts. The entire front end steering and suspension was all rebuilt. Uh, the subframe was powder coated, uh, polygraphite bushings were used, steering box was replaced, um, the <clears throat> rear end was powder coated as well, uh, Flowmaster dual exhaust system, you'll hear it towards the end of the video, the whole brake system was rebuilt, uh, fuel lines, brake lines were replaced, it has drilled and slotted disc brakes in the front, the fuel system, the tank, that's all replaced, it's a shiny gas tank. Uh, in back, they did add tubular control arms and a sway bar. Uh, rear suspension was rebuilt as well. You look up at the motor, it's nice and clean. It's got a high torque starter. Uh, it's got a Borg Warner Super T10 four speed that was rebuilt. Clutch, throw out bearing flywheel that was all replaced. Rebuilt drive shaft. A rebuilt rear end with 323. Richmond Posi gears in the back, has a chrome cover. Uh, so everything under the car has been redone. There's less than 1,500 miles on this since it was finished too. Uh, cars from South Carolina. So let's check out the body. This is all real nice and straight. This gap's a little wider than I'd like to see on this side, but it is square, lines up nice. It is all square, I will say that. Um, it's straight. Body looks good, all looks good all the way down the side is straight. The body line's nice and crisp. This all fits real nice, smooth all the way down to the bottom. The roof is real nice, no issues here. Big long doors, real straight. There is a bump right here, a little bit of body work uh, coming through right there. Uh, this is all nice and clean. Got a couple bumps right here as well. We'll look at that from the inside when we open it. It's got the tall three-piece spoiler. This is all looking good. It's all looking good. It's all real nice. Yeah, the lines are straight over here. A little bit of an inward dent right here. We might be able to get our dent guy to straighten it out. He comes by about once a week. So the body is real nice. Got a couple bumps on the other side. I don't see any on this side. Repainted a 2010 uh, Cadillac silver, so it's got a nice sparkly silver. It's a really nice job. It's not, uh, you know, not incredible. There's a little bit of texture. There's a little like dust right here, a little dimple right there. So minor imperfections uh, if you're inspecting it. Stripes are painted on. So they tried to mimic the Rally Sport front end. They put the split bumper on it. Uh, the grill looks like it's original. A little bit of pitting on the chrome down here. Emblem is new. The bumpers and bezels are new. There's a little chip touched up right there. Got a front spoiler. Emblems are new. The moldings around the windows are new. The window seals are new. Has sport mirrors. All new smoked glass. This is not a peel on tint. It's all new glass with the uh, smoke tint right in the glass. Sparkly chrome wheels. I mean, they are shiny. They're Rev wheels, and they are 17-inch, some performance tires. Back bumper, tail lights, emblem, that was all replaced. 
like I said, this is a real Z28, this right on the cowl tag. So it did start life as a Z28. Let's open it up, give you a tour of the inside. Let's look inside the trunk. So it was all painted under the trunk lid, the jam, weather strip replaced, the mat is replaced, all clean solid metal. There is an amplifier for the stereo. Some extra wires there, maybe for some accessories or something like that, but it is a new stereo system from Custom Auto Sound. Door jams look real nice. The weather strips are replaced. The door panels are completely replaced, uh, reupholstered. The lower sections reupholstered. The handles and cranks are new. So it's got really nice looking gauges. Give me one second, I'll light them up for you. You're going to like this. I like the analog with the digital uh, gauges. They should be lighting up brighter. Uh, but you can see they're, they're digital with the kind of a gray background. The dash pad, well the whole instrument panel's done. Dash pad is new and it fits real nice. The vents, the glove box, all this is in real nice shape. The carpet's replaced. This is the custom auto sound stereo that I was talking about. It also has a remote control uh, you can use. Looks like a short handle shifter. Uh, nice center console aftermarket sits right here. Seats are all redone. That seat belt front and back. Everything in back looks real nice. The plastic side panels, uh, the upholstery, 6x9 speakers in back, headliners replaced, visors are redone, the mirror is new. This is also, and uh, they call it an I, I Did It tilt column. It's powder coated. That's all new. The ignition is new. So really nice interior. All new wiring harness from bumper to bumper. It's all redone, replaced, I should say. So the original Z28 motor would have been a 360 horse, and they say this is rebuilt uh, to at least the 360 horsepower. Uh, it was rebuilt at a shop in South Carolina. It's got a performer intake with a big dual feed Holly carb, HEI ignition system. Some nice tall aluminum valve covers, some long tube headers, and the whole engine bay is painted silver, real nice. Got an overflow bottle down here for, that goes with the aluminum radiator. Front of the motor has a chrome alternator, and all, all the components under here were replaced. The water pump, the alternator, the power steering pump. Uh, it's all new vintage air and heat system. A new power brake system. The wiper motor was replaced. This was all at the time of the restoration. So, yeah, nice looking motor compartment. And how's that for a good sounding exhaust? Nice idle, nice rest, uh, clean rev to it. Yeah, these gauges are really cool. They're not lighting up like they should. So uh, I'll make sure the shop is noted on that. So this morning, Joey, one of the salesmen, commented how he stopped in the showroom and looked at this car. He said it's a really nice car. And it is. If you read the information and look at the pictures, it's been entirely redone. Now, there are some minor imperfections in the paint if you're looking for them like I just was. But standing next to this car, it's got the look, the color, the stance, the wheels, the, the tinted glass. It's awesome. And you want to go have fun on the street, this motor, the Posi and the four-speed, awesome. You got air conditioning to keep everyone else in the car happy, too. So go to volocars.com. Salesmen can help you with this real Z28. Uh, they can help with the delivery to your door. They can help with the financing at volocars.com. 
subscribe to our YouTube channel, click the bell icon, and you will be notified when the next video is posted. We got some great cars lined up for you. Thanks for watching.